My name is Kai Chan and I'm a professor at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. And I was one of the coordinating lead authors for chapter five of the global assessment, which is the chapter that examines the pathways towards sustainability. One of the clearest points that came out of the scenarios and pathways analysis was that in order for us to achieve the kind of change that's necessary for biodiversity and for nature, that it's going to take examining the society's institutions at a, in a much more careful way. That we can't any longer just think about, okay, well, this is how we have to do forestry differently, or this is how, to, how we have to do fisheries differently, without recognizing that all of those major sectors that impact biodiversity directly are driven by all kinds of different aspects of society's institutions and fundamentally derive from human demand for products and services. Businesses have a tremendous amount of power, both over governments and then more importantly, over, over supply chains, right? And supply chains, the way that, you know, products are produced from extracted natural resources and then distributed and ultimately making their way to consumers. That's the way that most environmental impacts happen. It's not because I go out there and I cut down a forest, it's because I buy something that requires that a forest is cut down. And so because businesses really do have control over supply chains, and in many cases those supply chains transcend national boundaries, what that means is that businesses have a fundamentally crucial role to play in the sustainability transformation. It becomes clear that a change is possible in supply chains and the processes of extraction or production, then it's really incumbent upon policymakers to make sure that the standards are set at a relatively high bar, one that's achievable and one that prevents what we think of as bad actors or bad apples from spoiling the bunch, right? Some of the industry has already kept up and then it's up to the governments to make it fair so that some businesses can't thrive by undercutting the, the environment and what it does for people.